inspiration I told you that a lot of times things are literal sometimes things are literal when you wouldn't think they are and then other times you think something is just really straightforward but it's not I'm making a metaphor for something else I thought about that during Citadel I don't know if you know the lyrics to that one but there's a line that says um, breaking on the balcony breaking window panes killing the pain of broken hearts and that's so literal the story of that is that and I don't usually tell the stories in my songs because I like people to make them their own, but it's been like 10 years, so it's been your own for a long time now. <laughs> so I'm trying to have it back. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, okay, so that line, I was 17 when I wrote that song, and I, and I had a, a boyfriend who was a guitar player in a band, and... Um, I, we broke up over something kind of, well, not that stupid, but because he, I wrote a song and he said, my band should use that instead of you because you're by yourself. And I was like, suck it. <laughs> um, uh, I can form a band. You need to write a song by yourself. But, um, so, but the story of that is uh, that I, Broke up with him, drove away, Ooh, and the light was literally red in the rear view, which is another literal thing from the record of the day. Because to get from his house to my house, you had to take a left um, onto a major intersection. So when the light turned green, you made a left, and in the background, in the rear view mirror, the light was red. And I always kind of saw the symbolism that I see where I'm going with this. So it is literal, but there's some there's symbolic things in everyday life. I mean, like, there's signs, or whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. There's like, you know, life tells you, God tells you stuff all the time. So I was, um, okay, so I went home. This is a dumb story. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed and be embarrassed about this. Um, I'm not as charismatic as Dan. <laughs> uh, but, so I went, I, I drove home from the wreck of the day, and uh, I... <laughs> At the time, romanticized this idea of being a songwriter or an artist, you know, and, and all my favorite artists were just depressed and tragic, and I thought that was very romantic until I grew up and became one and realized it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Depression, not fun. Um, but, you know, when I was 17 and thought it was just puberty and it would pass, <laughs> it was very like, oh, someday. Um, so I thought, well, what do my favorite artists do? Well, when they're depressed, they, you know, drink. But I was 17, and I didn't know anything about alcohol. And the only alcohol that I'd ever had was accidentally once in the refrigerator. There was um, homemade Baileys. Um, and I thought it was milkshake. <laughs> I was probably like 13, and I drank it, and I remember we were moving. Where is this story going? I'll get back to my point. <laughs> um, I remember that my, we were moving at the time. So, you know, life was chaos and there was boxes everywhere. And I remember I came outside to the moving truck and I said, Mom, that milkshake you made so good. <laughs> it's like, it's like lip numbing good. <laughs> so Irish cream was the only alcohol I'd ever had. So I got home from this breakup and I decided that I should drink like a real artist. 
Um, so I, well, we didn't have any Baileys. So I thought if I just mix some whiskey and some non-dairy creamer, <laughs> that it would suffice. <laughs> That's the grossest thing. Um, I know, right? I was 17. I went to Catholic school. I didn't know. Um, actually, that's why I should have known, but I didn't. <laughs> so, needless to say, I was drunk and very sick. <laughs> and I, I, you know, but in, in my, you know, romanticizing and dramatizing my situation, I went upstairs to my bedroom, which was on the upper floor of my parents' house, and I had a balcony. And I remember I opened the... <laughs> I opened the shutters and, and I stood there and I looked out and I said to myself, I wonder if he'll come back to me and drive by my house to see if I'm okay. And he didn't in, within five seconds of me looking. So I like, put my hand up against the window like this and I was just gonna, I was just gonna do one of those like, oh, woe is me. I broke the window. <laughs> And I actually have this funny little moon-shaped scar on my hand from it. But that's breaking on the balcony, breaking window panes, killing the pain of broken hearts. So to answer your question, some of my lyrics that sound the deepest and most romantic are just me doing stupid stuff. way to say what it actually was, which is that I grew up and then had to have my brother sleep in my room because I was afraid I had alcohol poisoning. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> my hip. So, Older or younger brother? Little brother. <laughs> he was always, he was cooler than me and always seemed like he was older than me, so he was just like, oh, I'll sleep in your room. <laughs> I'll throw the, yes, I will throw the whiskey bottle in the wash for you so that our parents don't know <laughs> things. 